Welcome to the second Picture This Three Ways project. The idea of Picture This is for different kinds of creatives to provide the inspiration for one another's work. And in the case of a Three Ways project, we have three layers of creators taking part. In this case, we had photographers, followed by writers, followed by visual artists. So our photographers were asked to submit a set of photographs responding to the general theme of spaces and places that change me. Those sets were then passed to our writers, who each wrote a poem in response to the set they received, as well as thinking about the general theme. The poems were then each passed to three visual artists, with each visual artist receiving three separate poems, and the artists were asked to respond to the words of the poems, as well as to their own feelings about the theme of spaces and places that change me. So we will see each set of photographs displayed, and then we'll hear the poets reading aloud their responses to those sets, with the work of the visual artists in response to the poems overlaid on those readings. Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm the curator of the project, and this time around I'm also participating in both the photography and the visual art layers. My photography is probably the creative medium I focus on the least, but it's been part of my array of creative pursuits for about the past eight years. My visual art I focus on quite frequently, and it's usually in relation to illustrating the words that I write in my creative writing. So we're going to hear a little bit about each of the creators taking part and the kinds of work they do, and then we'll see what's being created by their varied and layered interpretations of our theme, Spaces and Places That Change Me. So sit back and enjoy! Hi, I'm Kara Backing, and I'll be contributing poetry to this exhibition. For my piece, I personified my country. Loving my country is like being in a toxic relationship. It hurts, but you stay, hoping that it will change, but the only thing that changes is you and what you're willing to accept. Seeing those cliffs in the photographs prompted me to explore what the pinnacle of my love for my country is. Hi, I'm Margaret Fletcher an artist from Adelaide. This exhibition has given me the opportunity to create watercolour paintings from poems. I will be donating the proceeds from sales to support Red Cross, the Ukraine Crisis Appeal. Hi, my name is Dastria and I'm a writer based in Bangladesh. I have contributed with a poem for this exhibition. I drew inspiration from the flowing water captured in both the images. This made me reminisce all the times I was near a water body and how it made me feel spiritually connected with the universe. It was my aim to capture how calming the sound of water can be and how it speaks a soft language of wisdom. I hope you enjoy my poem. Thank you. Hi, I'm Yvette Schoemakers. I'm a part-time lino cut print artist based in the Netherlands. I love to incorporate elements of nature and the outdoors into my artwork, things that bring me a great sense of connectivity and joy. For this exhibition, I submitted three reduction lino cut prints. Reduction prints are built up of multiple layers of ink that have been carved out and hand printed from the same lino block, thereby reducing the block layer by layer as the print slowly develops. I drew inspiration from the poems by paralleling the emotions they evoked in me with personal spaces and places that shaped me in my life. I'm Charmaine Fletcher and I've been photographing real estate for over 11 years. I am now lucky enough to manage a team of 23 photographers here in South Australia. The photos I have contributed to the exhibition were taken at a time and in a place where I could feel that change was needed in my life. I found the time to just stop and enjoy each moment. Two of these moments I'd like to share with you. Hi, my name is Bernice Baker and I'm a writer based in Warwickshire, UK. I've submitted a poem for this exhibition. 
I was thrilled to be asked to write based on this theme as I particularly enjoy writing about emotions and the connection between ourselves and the outside world. My poem was largely inspired by the transformative effect that a place or space can have on us, sometimes almost instantly. I felt this way myself when given the photographs from my piece, despite having never visited the place shown in them. Hello, my name's Emily and I'm an artist and a science student from Adelaide, South Australia. Um, I've stepped in to create an artwork for one of the poems that was originally given to Amarina Art. Hi, my name is Isabel. I'm a poet based in the UK. I've contributed a poem for this exhibition. You can find me on Instagram at IDS Poetry. Hi, I'm Richard. I'm one of the photographers in this project. My work is based in and around Ben Nevis for this particular project. Um, I love the outdoors. I love photographing landscapes. Uh, I love going on journeys and recording journeys. And that's what this was about. It was a very special day, a very hot day, unusually hot on the, on Ben Nevis. And I aim to record it um, to the summit, but an absolutely super experience. I hope you enjoy the photos. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ian William Al. I'm a poet from Melbourne, Australia. I've submitted a poem for this exhibition titled The Living Water. This piece represents sort of the ongoing clash between stillness and everyday busy life and just sort of a chaotic beauty that exists trapped between those two things. I hope you enjoy it. My name is Lena. I was born in Ukraine. I used to live in Australia and New Zealand. Now I'm based in the UK. I work as an animator in the games industry and art is my passion. I like nature, seascapes, forests and mountains which are reflected in my art. In this project, the poems inspired me to create three paintings with soft pastel media combining realistic, abstract and symbolic styles. Upon receiving my photo set, the first word that came to mind was infinitesimal, so I decided to build upon that word. The crux of my poem is that while we may understand something, we may still feel the weight of it. But when we know truths deep in our hearts, the world can become infinitesimal. Often, these truths I myself realize in nature, amongst clouds, atop mountains, and I was intending to convey that in this poem. You can follow my works, which I update regularly on my Instagram. My handle is Charlie Mulder Poetess. Hi everyone, my name is Shagir Sayadi and I'm based in Iran. For this exhibition, I'm contributing three paintings in watercolor. You can find out more about my work at SheDudes on Instagram. Hi, I'm Elise Mesner, and I'm a wedding photographer based in Melbourne, Australia. For this exhibition, I've contributed three photographs taken at Uluru in the Northern Territory in Central Australia. Going to Uluru has always been on my bucket list, and for my 30th birthday last year, I decided to make it happen. Standing at the base of such a sacred landmark for the Anangu people, the traditional owners of the land where Uluru stands, was incredibly humbling and a privilege. Going to this place, walking around the base of Uluru, standing and listening truly changed me. I could feel the sacredness of this area and it was an honour to be allowed there. Hey, uh, my name's Neem. I'm a poet and a musician from Perth, Western Australia. I'm really excited to be working on uh, this project with Sarah Fletcher. Um, so hopefully you enjoy my poetry uh, as well as everyone else's uh, creative works as well. Привіт, друзі! Hola, amigos! Hello, my dear friends! My name is Ksenia Tomashova and I'm a person who tells the stories. I love working with soft pastels and acrylics, which are two of my main mediums for now at least, but if anything ever leaves the color mark on the surface, I would definitely try it out someday. This project is called Spaces and Places that Changed Me. 
and if I ever sell any of the artworks done within this project, I would love to spend money for supporting another project that changed me a lot and that is contributing a lot to the cultural space of my native country, Ukraine. Hello, my name is Ellen Rowland. I'm an American living in Greece and I've contributed a poem to this project. My writing has always been inspired by my surroundings and a strong sense of place and history and nature. I approach this project as a conversation, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone has to say through their particular art. You can connect with me on Instagram at roland.ellen. Thank you. Hi, I am Abby Williamson. I'm a watercolour artist based in West Yorkshire, UK. I typically create commissioned artworks of portraits and people's pets. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram under the name Abby Williamson Art. I have contributed three paintings to this exhibition, focusing on key phrases from the poems that stood out the most to me. I use this as a chance to experiment more with colour and style, my favourite being the piece Watch Me While I Bloom. harbour that a heart can choke, behind breath every storm of lung before others clear. The crippled water called it, flood of gold the bruise of it, howl for its leviathan lands. Treacherous dive, if light dares not, shift reef, nor blood, nor broken sail, setting against tide that sails perfection near as ever love. If there is a change, Am I ever none? If we are water, and we are rivers, and we are things to come? Blood in the water brings through my mouth. I run ashore, letting out the words. And burning bright mistakes, bears sweet wonder for wandering. To the living place, I could be garden, if light hands heard little things. A resting of life in a moment renews peace. Breath whole that hope has known. What water bodies sing? I knew I could taste serenity if you'd only let me reach into the undertow of your daydreams. I guess love seldom waits for you to bite into its swollen, throbbing flesh. Love falters a little too quickly, a little too soon, like the edge of the golden hour on my Volvicon horizon. A longing settles in at its wake. A dying sunshine diving into my waves of scars on stretched out skin, choking out dragonfly kisses as it gives out, singeing the expanse of my arms. Tell me, will your boats keep teasing me from the dock, throwing out empty promises like fishnets from the hull, sinking deep beneath the currents of who I was and who I am? My sense has wisened from shore to shore, bank to back, stream to river to sea. And I told you I was water, but you did not believe me.
My mother used to read me fairy tales, the kind with magic trees growing outside windows and wishes getting granted, and whispers that magic is only a heartbeat away from normal. So here's an idea. Let's lie outside and smell the rainfall on concrete and make love a little, or maybe a lot, and kiss while we shove custard chocolate-filled croissants in our mouth in one go, never two. Let's drive to an inlet to watch the sunset bleed pink and blue, so similar to the colours of my heart, when it mended from the first girl I ever loved, that when it sets, I get arrhythmia. We'll take our friends and belly laugh and drench ourselves in a wild so thick it feels odd to not howl at the moon. Because the thing is, it's a Sunday afternoon and we're looking out of windows. And what I want to know is, are we living a little less than we should? Sacramento Green Home is a place of green windows Spacious and quiet Outside the bees buzz The birds bathing in puddles and arguing over breadcrumbs Home is a place for thinking A place to be completely alone Where the floorboards only creak because I walk on them And the bed is never made Not a place for you in any sense Yet here you are. I've learnt to get used to the noise. Clattering dishes and slammed doors and shoes dropped onto the ground of a foot. Compromise is difficult, and although I do not like it, it is worth the hassle. Sometimes I think about all the things we'll never be. I don't think I'll ever be the person you want, but that's okay. Time with you is enough, no matter the cost watching as you erupt into laughter and fall into the flowers below, consumed by yellow and pink, spat out and transformed into something beautiful. Pinnacle. Say we won. When I retreated to the Colosseum of your arms, your lies fluttering like confetti. Say we won, and I'll say, I'll stay. Like we're not days away from the next champion's carnage, my backbone dragged before her feet slick with its lovesick. Won't we grow old together? Through the next hunting hurricanes, fantasizing the holy water in the downpour, we'll dance in the storm, die in the storm, or maybe we won't. Maybe a wake enveloped in lavender as you uproot decades of flowers, will flaunt looted vows that never change. I won't die for you, but I'll stay, just in case. My heart aching historically, hysterically, loves volatile inertia.
In this age of Kali Yuga, understanding is a heavy thing, as heavy as the earth beneath, as heavy as this soul that climbs. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? If I stand upon this mountain and scream to invisible gods, do they hear my weighty cries? Les anges montant au ciel, the angels soar to heaven. I lie naked on this rock, my sweat, my libation, an offering to the eye left atop this mountain. Knuckles white and knees weary, I pray I never forget the land that I am, the land that is me. Understanding is a heavy thing. Knowing is infinitesimal. Upon this amber soil they take each step, free of burden. As wild as the fiery land, enchanting in shades of flame, as purposeful as the painted colours evolving vividly across this vast expanse of splendour and significance. These grounds welcome their every tread, enveloping and invigorating their hibernating souls with wisdom and shared purpose. The place they can see beyond summons them without exertion or fear, its otherworldly greatness captivates all who observe an inescapable majesty of nature. We have all been here before, guided by the voice of a place unspoiled by noise, its poise and beauty forever appreciated by the earth framed in sunlight. This place is a gift, an auburn haze befitting a dreamscape, freeing us to listen once more, reminding us of how to exist without distraction, to appreciate all that is rare, all whilst the stars play above us, acknowledging our fleeting presence below, in this space most divine and free of burden. The far away nearby, I thought the desert would feel lonely at night. There was life just beyond, I knew, although at first all I could see was a mesa of darkness against which played the scorching day. Negative space of heat in relief, walking fragments of bleached bone and callous clay, meeting the improbable flower here and there. How far down had its roots reached to find the last vein of humid earth? And why was it so insistent on blooming? I saw there, or felt, or imagined, eyes adjusting to the parched wide night, both animal presence and the dance of generations circling a fragile bonfire. Ashes now tamped, bones now cold, voices evaporated, absorbed by the stem of a mariposa lily. I felt my smallness then in that bowl of sky so full of pinpoint light. I was not alone in what I knew, that we are all held by an infinite constellation, an eddy of stories kept bright in the telling.
All of us have places, broad as countries or small as the shade of a particular tree, that we feel we've changed and grown in. Change can be magical, painful or mysterious, and the places that are home to that change can take on a character of their own, almost like the places themselves are participants in the changes that we go through. We hope that in sharing our personal thoughts and creations on this theme, we've created a shared space in which we all can reflect. And while this might not be a space that has changed us, it is a space in which we're supported and connected in our humanity and in our creativity. We wish you all special places and spaces and positive changes as you go forward in your life's journey. <laughs>